Hey guys, it's almost Halloween. It's cold and windy here. And I don't know about you, but at Halloween, you always start to hear these scary stories, right? I mean, that's kind of the deal with Halloween. But did you know that there's a scarier story found in the pages of Romans 6? Verse 2 says, How can we who died to sin live in it any longer? Verse 4 says, We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. And verse 6 says, We know that our old self was nailed to the cross with him in order that our body of sin might be made ineffective for evil, that we might no longer be the slaves of sin. So what happens when, a, when your sin nature dies? It's buried, right? We were buried with Christ, buried with him in death, right? So why would we want to go and dig that up? That's a scary story, right? Could you imagine someone going out into a graveyard and digging up dead bones? No, we would never do that. But yet we do when we choose to gratify the desires of the flesh. Why would we go and dig that up? That's ridiculous, right? If we're saved, our old nature is dead and buried, and we have been raised to walk in newness of life. There's no reason to go out into the graveyard and dig up the bones of our old sin nature. So I want to challenge you guys, don't go digging up bones in the graveyard. Instead, walk in newness of life. 